Here I'm going to show how to do compound multiplication using the Vedic Sutra vertically and crosswise. And uh, the example I've chosen is this, where we have, uh, you can imagine, a rectangular piece of carpet measuring 5 foot 2 by 3 foot 7 inches. And uh, I've sectioned up this uh, rectangle so that uh, into four four pieces. So this um, large rectangle is three feet by five feet. And then we have this rectangle on top, which measures seven inches by five feet. And the rectangle on the right here measures it's three feet high and two inches wide. This is not drawn to scale. And then the little uh, rectangle up here measures seven inches by two inches. Seven by two. <clears throat> Now, before we begin, um, I should explain that I'm going to explain how the method works and then show the actual method, how to do it very quickly. Uh, and uh, so the first thing we need to know is that with working in feet and inches, that 12 inches is equal to one foot. And if we multiply uh, this by 12 or square it, we get 144 square inches is equal to one square foot. So we can set out the numbers like this, three and seven and five and two. And if we had to multiply using vertically and crosswise, three times five is 15. And then crosswise, we get 35 at six, which is 41. And then seven times two is 14. Well, let's have a look at what these numbers mean. So here we have three square, uh, three feet times five feet. That's 15 square feet. And over on the right, we've got seven inches times two inches, and that's 14 square inches. That 14 is square inches is the area of this little rectangle in the top right hand corner. And the 15 square feet is the area of this large rectangle here, 15 square feet. Now, what about this 41 in the middle? Let's just consider what that is. <clears throat> so um, to do that, I'm going to convert everything into square inches. So if we multiply three feet by two inches, it's actually uh, 36 inches. So 12 times three is the 36, and then that's multiplied by two. And then going the other way, 5 times 7, it's 12 times 5 inches, that's 5 feet, times 7 inches. And if we factorize this, we get 12 times uh, 3 times 2 plus 5 times 7. And that 3 times 2 plus 5 times 7 is, of course, the 41. It's 41. So we get 12 times 41 square inches. Now, if we want to convert that into um, square feet, we'd have to divide by 144. So this is 12 times 41 divided by 144 square feet. And the 12 and the 144 cancel to get 1 over 12. And so it's equal to 41 over 12 square feet. And if we divide that out, we get three, three square feet because three into uh, 12 divided into 41 goes three times. Three remainder, so it's three square feet, remainder uh, five, twelfths of a square foot. And five twelfths of a square foot, we can turn that into square inches by multiplying by 144. I'll do it up here. Five over 12 multiplied by 144. And this cancels with the 12. And we're just left with five times 12, 60. So in our example of these three numbers at the end uh, that we calculated, 15, 
41 and 14. <clears throat> this 41 splits up into three square feet. So we have to add that onto the 15 and 60 square inches. And we have to add that onto the 14. And so the result is 18 square feet and 74, let's write that in, 18 square feet and 74 square inches. And that is the final answer. <clears throat> so let's just have a look at the quick way now to get to the uh, answer. If I just uh, scroll down a little bit. So going back to the beginning, we had three and seven and five and two. And on uh, applying vertically and crosswise, 15, 41 and 14. So the process is, is then to uh, divide the 41 by 12 and put the quotient three onto the 15 and then take the remainder five, multiply it by 12, giving 60, and add it on to the 14, giving 74. So that's how to <clears throat> do that. Let's have a, a look at another example. Eight foot three, eight foot three inches, multiplied by seven foot two inches. So eight sevens are 56. And then we have 21 add 16. 21 <clears throat> add 16 is 37. And three times two is six. On dividing the 37 by 12, the quotient is three, so that gets added on to the 56. And the remainder is 1. Multiply that by 12 and put it onto the 6, making 18. And our answer is 59 square feet and 18 square inches. <clears throat> now, of course, we may run into a little bit of difficulty if the um, number of square inches at the end comes to more than 144. So I'm going to show another example where that happens and look at various ways to get around it. So here the next example is 2 foot 11 multiplied by 8 foot 9 inches. And here on multiplying 2 eighths is 16 and then we've got 88 add 18 which is 106 and 11 nines 99. On dividing the 106 by 12, the quotient is eight. So we could add the eight onto here, making 24. The remainder is 10. And multiplying that 10 by 12 gives 120. And now if we add this up, um, we get 219 square inches. Well, that's more than 144. We, what we could do is is subtract 144 from here and add that um, or divide this 219 by 144. The quotient is 1, so that would, 1 would add on to the 24, giving 25. And then the remainder would be 56 add uh, 19, which is 75. Well, that's a little bit awkward, so we're going to look at two other ways of uh, getting around this <clears throat> and both of them use uh, bar numbers or Winkelin numbers which are negative. So let's start with uh, this that on seeing this 11 and these large large digits here I'm going to turn the 2 foot 11 into 3 foot minus 1 inch. I'm going to write that like that 3 feet and bar 1 inch and I'll keep this the same see what happens. So now on multiplying vertically and crosswise, we get 3 eighths of 24. Then we get um, 3 nines of 27. Take away 8 is 19.
and then bar 1 times 9 is bar 9, it's minus 9. On dividing the 19 by 12, the quotient is 1, so we put that onto the 24, making 25, and the remainder is 7. 7 times 12 is 84, add the minus 9 and we get 75. So that's a little bit, that's a little bit quicker. And another way would be this. Um, let's write it out again, 21189. And proceeding as we did in the first place, getting these three numbers, 16, 106 and 99, on dividing the 106 by 12, instead of saying it's 8 remainder 10, I could say it's 9, 9 remainder minus 2. And this 16 at the 9 makes the 25. And then multiplying this bar 2 by 12, we get bar 24. So it's 99 take away 24, which is 75. So that's how to deal with the more awkward type. Now, um, the next example, next couple of examples, a special case. And this is where the, this is quite fun, the, the first two numbers are the same. So we've got 2 foot 7 times 2 foot 5, and the last two numbers add up to 12. So this is when the final digits add up to 12. And um, all we need to do is we're going to use this sub rule by one more than the one before. So the one before is a two, and one more than that is three. So you multiply the two by the two by three, getting six. And then we multiply the five by seven, giving thirty-five. That is the answer. Well, let's just check this out, and see how it works. So. <clears throat> I'll just write it out again. Two foot seven, two foot seven inches, and two foot five inches. So if we were to uh, go as we did before, two times two is four, and on the right we get thirty-five. <clears throat> now, what about the middle? Here we've got five twos add seven twos. Well, because these two numbers, 5 and 7, add up to 12, 5 twos add, add 7 twos is 12 twos. And 12 twos is 24, of course. And all we do then is put this 2 over onto the 4. And we get 6, 35. Uh, let's have a look at one more case of that. And before we do, you may recall, if you if you have seen um, videos on Nicola multiplication, there is this uh, special case method where we're multiplying two numbers like 34 and 36. This is just conventional numbers here, where the first digits are the same and the last two add up to 10. And all we do is take the one more than the one before is four. One more than this three is four. Multiply the three by the four to get 12. And then we put down four times six, 24. And that is the answer. You can have a look at the reasons for that. It's basically to do with the fact that six threes add four threes is 10 threes. And over here, one more than one before will give 20. And then three times nine is 27, so it's 20 square feet and 27 square inches. So that's all quite fun.